Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2015 Toyota Sienna Limited, I'm sorry, Sienna XLE Premium. It basically has almost everything the Limited has. There's only some slight differences, but it is also an all wheel drive. You see, you have the AWD logo on the rear there. It's four wheel drive vehicle. Most of the Siennas are just two wheel drive. Sienna is actually the only all wheel drive minivan available for the last several years. So if you encounter snow, ice, mud, you know, hazardous conditions, rain, slippery stuff, the all wheel drive is a major advantage. And of course this is XLE, so it has power sliding doors on both sides, which you see I'm pushing the, the key fob. It does have the DVD, well, I'm sorry, this is not a DVD, this is a Blu-ray rear entertainment system. It also plays DVDs and CDs, but uh, new for 2015, it's Blu-ray rear seat entertainment. Uh, so you don't have to buy those combo discs that only play, you know, DVD for the car and Blu-ray for the house. It'll play Blu-rays, which is nice, or DVDs or CDs. Power rear hatch. And these rear hatches have a push button or on the remote or from the driver's seat and they have pinch strips. So if I hit to close the door, there's a little pinch strip right here. If it pinches an arm or a leg, this has on the sliding door as well. If it pinches a little arm or a little leg, uh, it'll reverse direction. Uh, 60, 40 split folding third row seat. So this is a seven passenger. Now the all wheel drive is only available as a seven passenger vehicle. There are no eight passenger all wheel drives. It has to do with the weight of the running gear and stuff like that. You, it can't, it's, the gross vehicle weight of the vehicle is seven passenger only. So I suppose you could go have somebody install a jump seat if you really needed an eight passenger, but they, you know, they make a much more expensive Sequoia for like $20,000 more, maybe $30,000 more, you can buy the eight passenger Sequoia with all wheel drive. Um, they'd rather get your extra $30,000 if you really need the eighth seat with the all wheel drive. But uh, has to do with the gross vehicle weight rating. But this is a full time all wheel drive very clean and this was a toyota headquarters owned vehicle meaning this has never been sold to the public if you noticed yes it has 50,000 miles but that was driven by toyota for toyota not by your crazy neighbor down the street okay so the toyota people are gearheads you know they don't go out and abuse their company cars and that's what this was this was a toyota company vehicle assigned I believe to one individual driver as well, not a like a Toyota rent a car or something like that. So this was the big wig at Toyota. This was their company car. And they took really good uh, care of it because otherwise the boss will say, why is there a giant dent in the side of your car? Uh, it's got all new tires on it. Tire life is pretty good. These are run flat tires. And obviously they lasted almost 50,000 miles before they had to replace the tires, that's really good. A lot of uh, tires only last, you know, 30, 40,000 miles, depending on the vehicle. But uh, it lasted over 40,000, so tires are pretty new on it. Um, maybe you'll make it to 100,000 miles, depending on your driving style. Now, 2015 was a full redesign refresh. 2014s are very different, they have a different interior. They have a different uh, tail lights for, on the 2014. So 2015 has a different headlights and tail lights slightly. Uh, and new for 2015 is the pearl white paint. They used that pearl white back like in the 2010 model year, but went away until now, maybe because of the recession. Pearl white is back. The really glossy, shiny, pearly white paint is now on this vehicle for the 2015 model year, XLE. It's very nice. And this one has the chrome appearance package. These chrome stip strips going down the side of the left and right of the vehicle. It's got the chrome door handles because it's the premium package. You 
got the mud guard kit because A, it is an all-wheel drive. So if you're driving in some hazardous conditions, you won't want splashing stuff all over the side of your pretty car. So this will keep your car cleaner. And those are the genuine Toyota factory mud guards. Now, before we go inside and show you more of the interior, I'm going to talk about the blind spot radar and rear cross traffic alert. Okay, in your little mirror, there's a little indicator here, your BSM, which is enabled by the BSM button on the dash. You just leave that on all the time. Never want to turn that off. So blind spot, you're driving along on the freeway. Okay, this feature first appeared on XLE Unlimited in the 2013 model year. Before that, it was not available. But the 2015 has the latest version. It's rear radar. And so let's say another car is driving along the left side on the freeway and you're driving the Sienna and you want to make a left turn. Well, uh, if a vehicle's in your blind spot, that little light will come on on your rearview mirror, on the outside mirror, and let you know somebody's in your blind spot. Now, if you turn on the turn signal, then that little light will go from solid to flashing fast, like a in the mirror turn signal indicator. But it's more sophisticated because it lets the driver in your blind spot know and lets you, the driver of your own vehicle, know that uh, you are have someone in the blind spot and you can look extra closely before you make that lane change. And then the same thing for the right side. Even vehicles approaching at high speed, you know, passing on the right like they're not supposed to, but nobody moves to the right anymore to let people pass on the left, so people pass on the right. The blind spot monitor will let you know so you don't hit them as they're flying past you. Uh, that radar also works in parking lots and I'm going to talk about the backup camera. You have a rear backup camera, of course. It displays on the big navigation screen. You have parking sonar. Now the sonar is very good. That technology has been around for years. Any object is, say about three feet or closer, it'll start beeping faster and faster as you get closer to an object. But rear cross traffic alert is not the parking sonar, it's something new. This radar system, let's say you're in the car and you want to back up and a car comes flying around this corner, even though the corner is 100 feet away, rear cross traffic alert will start beeping in the car to let you know somebody's approaching from far away and you'll be able to avoid that collision. Let's say you're in a driveway on a busy street and you got to back out and you can't see very good. Rear cross traffic alert will let you know a car's approaching so that you don't pull in front of them. If you're in a parking lot in a shopping mall and you're backing out of a parking space, the radar rear cross traffic alert will let you know pedestrians, animals, strollers are approaching closely to you. Uh, and in particular vehicles, even if you can't see them from the driver's seat because big vehicles are parked on both left and right side. So that's the rear cross traffic alert. Um, very clean vehicle. I'm going to talk about the condition later in this video. Let's go on to the inside. Mike Johnson, 951-681-2101. So as we go inside the vehicle, you notice we do have two keys. These are the smart key. And what does that mean? That means to unlock the car, all you got to do is walk up to the vehicle, pull on any of the door handles, and the car will recognize that you have the key with you, and it'll open the door. So pulling the handle like that will unlock the, the door. You pull it again, closes the door. You have a little thing right here you can touch to lock the car. That will lock the car by touching it there and it'll give you a confirmation beep. If it gives you a long beep, that's mean you're doing something wrong. The car's running or you left the key in the car or one of the doors is open. But uh, all you have to do is leave these keys in your purse or your pocket. You just walk up, reach for the door handle and the car unlocks. And it's also a push to start. And I have the car running right now. So it'll be nice and cool when I get in. That's why I give the long beep. So I'm playing some music right now on the stereo system. I believe it's Jennifer Lopez playing. But see, this is state-of-the-art technology. This one actually gives you a CD player. So you still got a CD player up on the top here. But it also has the big thing that came out in 2011 
and has been improved for 2015 is Bluetooth streaming audio. So you see I have Jennifer Lopez playing on my phone. There are no wires connected. But you can see the, the album is playing right there on the, uh, on the dash. And you have all these navigating buttons that are new for 2015. A lot more uh, control from the steering wheel than you had on the previous years. Let's close the sunroof. It's a power tilt and slide power moonroof or sunroof, same thing. Close that because it's giving me glare on my video. You do have a conversation mirror so you can keep your eyes on the rear seat occupants. Um, you do have allow or disallow or from the doors uh, interior light control, very easy to control. They improved this for this year. Um, that's your power operating side slider and uh, rear hatch controls. So you press that right there and then your door closes or opens. You have that for all three doors. So I'm gonna turn the music down but what you want to know is this is a very nice sound system and it works really well touch screen navigation the newer feature they have is they have the split screen so you can have navigation or music at the same time or other features of the car or you just touch your nav and it goes to full screen you've got your apps page let's throw it into reverse here and engage my reverse camera. So I mentioned on the outside video I have radar rear cross traffic alert with that you know there's a blind spot right in this corner so if I pull up into this blind spot around this corner here and I suddenly decide oh wait I want to back up the radar can see approaching vehicles and if there was somebody coming it'll go beep 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 and it'll give me an audible warning as I'm backing out of this driveway that a vehicle is approaching but it didn't beep because nobody's approaching. Um, I want to shoot my video safely and not hurt the car or me so that's fine and uh, the system does seem to work really well. My wife has one she has a 2014 Sienna with the blind spot system and the rear cross traffic alert and she's very pleased with it. She says it does work and it's nice if you pay for a feature on a car that it works really well and it does. So let's back up. I'm just trying to get the sun glare off of me. The backup camera is really nice. You've got those guidelines on there so you can judge the red line is kind of how close you can get and still open your rear hatch more or less. But let's talk about all these buttons up here. Of course, we've got navigation. Let me turn the AC down because I don't want wind noise on my um, on my uh, my video. And I'm going to turn the music down. So, make sure I can see what I'm talking about. Navigation, audio, phone, messages driver easy speak traffic setup and eco uh, and there may be another page here you also have Entune apps as well and uh, it's got traffic so the map shows the live traffic it says predictive traffic which is new for 2015 predictive traffic map knows how traffic is probably gonna be before you get there that's new for 2015 so if you use the navigation a lot that might work really well but this is my first 2015 so I can't tell you about it yet but uh, I try to stay out of traffic but I'm gonna try to include a Toyota videos that will help further explain that anyways uh, audio very detailed uh, audio control uh, if I go back to apps and we go to phone We've got our Bluetooth uh, connection to our phone. 
and you've got important functions like your favorites, your call history. Call history is a really big one. Contacts, dial pad. Let's go to dial pad. You should be dialing my number, 951-681-2101. That's my number. You should be calling it right now and saying, hey, sell me this car before somebody else gets it. Uh, the all-wheel drives are extremely hard to get. I am in Southern California and there's not as much snow and ice here, so the all-wheel drives are few and far between. There may be like three or four in the whole Southern California available for sale at any given time of various years. And this is 2015, so it's a little new. They're not coming in on a lease yet. Now this was a Toyota headquarters owned vehicle. So I got this one early. Usually the 15s will come out when they're three years old and this one is not. So um, Toyota's moving their headquarters to uh, Texas but they still have a lot of operations going here in Southern California and I got this vehicle from them competing against Toyota dealers to get it. So call history is really nice. So like when mom calls or spouse calls, boss calls and you ignored their call and you because you were busy and you got in the car, it's like, hey, I wonder who called. Instead of grabbing your phone and thumbing through it, you have, for comparison, a three times larger screen with touch and you won't get a ticket. It's actually illegal to hold your phone in California when you're at the controls of the vehicle now driving. Uh, but not to worry, you have the same functionality all right here, your call history. So say, uh oh, my boss called me, something important, or spouse or whoever, um, children calling you and you call them right back from here. And it's hands-free Bluetooth so the microphone is up in the overhead and the radio will silence itself while you make the phone call. And if it's something private, you can transfer it to the headset and take it on your headset. But uh, that works really well. It's very well refined. They've been doing it for more than uh, 10 years. The Bluetooth hands-free first came out for the telephone with the touchscreen back in uh, like 2099, uh, around that time. So it's been around for a while. Uh, you've got three zone air conditioning system, driver, passenger, and rear seat occupant air conditioning, and they have their own control. This is all redesigned. It's a simplified, uh, easier to understand configuration. And so it shows what your temperature settings are. I can push auto and it automatically engages. Uh, rear is actually off, I can turn it on. So you don't have to have rear on, but I, I'm turning it on now, so I have my rear AC going. Tells you exterior temperature is 75, interior is set at 69. And it'll blow the fan as hard as it needs to, to uh, maintain that temperature and make it cooler or warmer. You can even increase or decrease flow through individual vents with these little thumb wheels. I like them all flowing myself. It's very nice. Up on the uh, sun visors, you have illuminated uh, vanity mirrors. And uh, you've got a little clip here, so you can clip things on here like business cards. And then you can open this, and then it slides to extend or retract. And it's kind of stiff, so it holds its position. I'm, I already showed you the sunroof. And uh, down here, we've got our heated seats. You've got a USB port, which is easier to get to than uh, earlier models. It used to be down a lot lower. So you've got USB, so you can charge your phone. You've got auxiliary jack. You've got your heated seats right here. You've got your uh, PowerPoint. You've got extra cup holders. There's a lot of cup holders in Sienna. I pushed the wrong button. You've got cup holders right here. You've got cup holders right here. You've got bottle holders in the doors. Typically there's around 14 to 16 cup holders in a Sienna. Somewhere in that volume. You've got dual glove boxes. It does have some owner's books in here and you can even, now you can get Toyota owner's manuals at no cost online. You know, if you have an iPod, iPad or something, instead of dragging the book out of the car and bringing it in your house, you can go right on the Toyota website and access any owner's manual for any year of these uh, vehicles and 
read away all the books and manuals that come with the car are posted online it's very cool as a dealer sometimes those owners manuals are missing and it's nice just to be able to read it on your iPad it's a lot easier or if you have a galaxy tab if you ever have to cut back in and I'm probably missing things in this video I'm trying to keep it going as fast as possible so these rear seats all the seats in here recline the center row is captain's chair so they got these nice armrests they're much more comfortable than the regular LE seats and it's a 60 percent 40 percent split uh, third row seat so the I have the one side folding all the way to the floor you have a roof mounted seat belt for the this position that you can put out of the way um, here's the recline handle so if you want to recline it you got storage cubbies right here so you can store your headphones this van does come with the wireless headphones and the DVD blu-ray player remote control you got lots of vents like I said I like them open you've got the side curtain airbags going all the way back seat belts and everything it's very nice and a lot of people ask me these little buttons show you where the latch for car seat the latch anchor points are so there's a uh, two here there's th approximately three car seat mounting points for the baby infant car seats with a latch system so you can latch one right here you could latch one right there and you could latch one in the other seat and I want to show you how these seats work so this this is sliding track seating this releases the track uh, the, the recline and this forward but since I'm pushing the video I can go like that put it like so I'll climb in you have massive leg room more than any other make of uh, minivan you can recline the seat in the third row, uh, center row and sit here and let somebody else drive and enjoy the movie like limo ride pretty nice now some of them have the lounge recliners my wife does but these are simpler you you may think oh I want the lounge recliners but they can actually be installed if you get one from a uh, wrecking yard you could put the lounge recliners in here I believe they're interchangeable because these seats actually lift out so they unclip and come out very quickly and you could clip in some other seats but I don't I don't like the lounge recliners that much. These these have uh, the leg rests. You don't need them. The kids play with them. They like them. They're a novelty for the first six months, and then nobody ever messes with them again. Uh, so you've got everything you need with this van. My name is Mike Johnson. I'm going to continue with the back. Continuing with the back, we have this 60/40. It's folded down, which. If you notice, you can still carry six people in this vehicle and have all this cargo room in the back. Which is more room than like even a Chevy Tahoe offers. It's very nice. It can tow a trailer. It does not have a trailer hitch. People often ask me. The Sienna is rated to tow up to 3,500 pound trailer. Um, but you would have to add a hitch. You would have to go someplace like a U-Haul or... A trailer supply shop and have them put a hitch on it for you I don't do that that's something you would want done locally in your own area um, continuing on to talk about the outside of the vehicle this is a Toyota company car it was never sold to the public and one of the reasons is I think when it was brand new being delivered on the train I believe it was a uh, vandalized or scratched cosmetically you know they scratched it or keyed it so Toyota did repaint uh, several of the outside panels but it does not have any accidents it's not body damage it was key scratching um, still on 2015 they have the vehicle identification tags that they put on the various body panels and if you see a car that was in an accident these things are start to be missing but uh, they're present so this was not crashed um, it has a clean Carfax. If you look in my advertisement, there is a Carfax button that you can click on and view the Carfax history report. That's free and it's clean. 
Um, on the title it shows that Toyota USA is the owner. And so you would not be buying a new vehicle. Obviously it has 50,000 miles on it. You'll be buying a pre-owned vehicle, but you'll be the first individual private party to own it. Um, so hopefully that clarifies everything. Um, it does also have the roof rack crossbars on here. These are optional, but this is the premium. This has everything you can get. There's nothing that you can get on a Sienna that this one doesn't have in the XLE package. So everything is here. So no missing options. And I'm going to try to do that on the build page of the uh, website. My name is uh, Mike Johnson. Call me with any additional questions direct on my phone. 951-681-2101. Or you can text me at 909-225-0151. Thank you. Question: You can look it up online. You don't have to go looking for the owner's manual. More cup holders in the third row seat. You've got the video entertainment system, which is Blu-ray. I mentioned that earlier. And it has a game port, so you can plug in a video game right here. It has AC 110 volt power, so you can hook up your video game console or plug in a laptop. And 110 volt power right there. Charge your cell phone. Uh, those are very useful ports. Taking a look. I mentioned it's a seven passenger seating because it's an all wheel drive. There's no eight passenger seating. Although there is a room in between the seats, you could put a jump seat back here uh, if you needed to. It is possible. Be an aftermarket product, and I'm not going to do that for you. If you want to, I know some companies that make them and sell them, but I don't necessarily recommend doing that because um, it won't look as nice, it won't be as functional. The way this car is configured right now, I haven't hauled any cargo in here and I'm going to include in my pictures and uh, I once loaded 4x8 sheets of plywood in the back of a Sienna. So this will carry 4x8 sheets of plywood with the doors closed and padding all on both sides so you don't scratch the car all up. I went to Home Depot and I bought several sheets of 4x8 plywood and I fit it in there and closed the door. You can't even do that with pickup trucks these days because the beds are short. So, but the Sienna will hold the cargo. It's actually the largest of the minivans. It's not a full size van like a Ford Econo line or something like that, but uh, it is the largest capacity of all of the minivans you could buy. So, let's continue to the rear uh, systems. I'm going to pause it.